the shortest world that I'm a titan Hit him up with syllables inside this verse that can be titan My goals flow's got an ego and the truth I spit just frightens The world will admire my truth and when it does I'll be the best man This world needs a hero the What's going on, on YouTube? It is the Big K Club 360 And you know everyone's talking about DX12, DirectX12, DX this, DX that. Now, of course, everyone knows that with Windows 10, we saw the release of DirectX12. We've seen DX12 benchmarked on the 290X, 390X, 980Ti, the Fury, the Fury X, any card you can imagine. But guys, look, I put this question to you. When will DirectX12 really be out on a broad basis? When is it really going to become mainstream in the sense? Because look, at the moment, everything's DX11. Everything's DirectX11. DirectX11 is the main platform for now. Now, of course, some of you might say, well, Cobbs, bro, you just got to wait a bit. Now, look, I am waiting. I'm definitely waiting. But look, guys, it's been ooh, more than a month, more than a month since Windows 10 came out, probably two months now. Of course, some of you might be thinking I'm being a bit impatient. I'm not saying that I want DirectX 12 now. I'm just saying, I'm just curious. Of course, I'm curious. I'm not saying I demand it. I want it right now. No, I'm saying I'm curious as to when it's really going to become mainstream. When are we going to be seeing games that launch with DirectX 12 straight out of the box? Let's fucking go. Let's bash. Let's do this right now. Because honestly, I really don't know. Um, I mean, I'll look up what games will be DirectX 12 right now. Let's see what comes up. What game will be on DirectX 12? This is so awkward typing around my microphone. But yeah, I mean, pff, list of here we go. Wikipedia, list of games supported by DirectX 12. We've got Armor 3, which is going to be supported in 2016 the first half of next year we've got DayZ next year all these games are going to be supported next year so we don't actually have many games that are going to have that native DirectX 12 support and of course it's a bit unfortunate but I guess we can't really do anything about it we're just going to have to wait now of course look this is DirectX man this is an API it's going to take a very long time to really take full effect I mean moving from I think DirectX 10 was maybe it was a bit it was the exception but DirectX 11, man, obviously, you know, we, we kicked it in, we brought it in, and we now we've got DirectX 12. It's going to take a while. Devs are just going to be working with it. I mean, it is lower level API, so we should be getting some very nice enhancements and performance, like, increases for, I guess, the same amount of graphical fidelity than, as you would see on DX11. But... Yeah, look, I really, I really don't know, guys. So, look, comment down below. When do you think DX12 is going to become, like, the big daddy, the big boss? Because, honestly, I really don't know. Could be one year, could be two years, could be three or four. I mean, Windows 10 itself, it's got some pretty significant market share for the time that it's been out. So, I guess we might even see it closer then. We might think. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, look, don't forget, the Xbox One is getting DirectX 12 in less than two months. So, yeah, remember that Windows 10 is coming to Xbox One in less than two months. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will uh, see you later.